Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Uh, some few hours ago, early morning, early hours of this morning, Chief Akogu came and dropped a V note and was calling for a meeting. You know, it was like a press conference. He was going, he was saying that there's going to be a showdown in Abuja on Monday, that's tomorrow. He invited Ken, he invited the uh, German machine, invited all stars, invited the uh, pastor. Uh, Philip invited Pastor Aku, 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 Mabu, all those. So he invited the stakeholders of a uh, grand community and uh, saying that there's a quarrel, there's a big beef between OEGGPN and uh, UAAG, and they are going to resolve it definitely this week. Next week, there will be disbursement. And uh, so the way he was saying it, it was like a mini conference, a mini press conference, because they are, he was going to give them a location in a hotel in Abuja and everybody is going to take flight and land there in Abuja. And he said he's going to even leak the venue to the beneficiaries. So that was how we had it, thinking that today was coming to an end with this video. Then the German machine, German machine don't always give in notes all the time. He now came out to rebook and uh, and uh, caution uh, Chief Akogu. Listen to him. See on the other side. My name is Comrade Yakub Abrazak, the executive president of Organ Pleasure Group of Nigeria. My attention has been drawn to the hula bailu going on in his grand community as a result of unguided voice note and write up by some team led by Chief Tajuddin Kayode, the Akogun of Nigeria, as he called himself. Um, first and foremost, I want to use this medium to tell Nigerians that all Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria has nothing to do with the position and the assertion of this very group. And I want to tell Nigerians that all Grand Pleasure Group is not aware of what this uh, group are insinuating, the names they mentioned there, and what they claim. All Grand Pleasure Group of Nigerians we have not extorted Nigerians and nobody has extorted uh, any money from us as a result of this uh, grant or the process to bring these grants to Nigeria. All I can tell Nigeria is that Ogre Prison Group is working hard and praying that this grant, the process of this grant, should come to an end as soon as possible in order for us to have our peace. An all grand pleasure group of Nigerians has been assuring um, the fellow subscribers that the money is there and there are a committee working hard to see that this money is disbursed. And this committee working hard for us, we have nothing against them and they owe us nothing. But it's out of the mercy of government and the mercy of God to see that this, uh, the suffering that we have, uh, our labor, our suffering, and uh, our commitment for the past eight years did not end in vain. And with the reference of the meeting we had last time, I have advised Nigerians to be careful on whatever we are going to carry about, to be careful on how we channel our agitation. Because, as a matter of fact, all of us have started this pursuit of grant in an error and ignorance. As a matter of fact, we have um, channeled our resources, we have channeled our time in a wrong way, and people have taken advantage of that. So, God, who has made this very expectation possible for us, we have nothing than to be patient and praying that this process come to an end in our favor and at the same time we return the glory to god alone i want to use this medium to tell nigeria to be very careful on the propaganda going on here and there as a matter of fact we all the previous group of nigeria have learned our lesson we have done a lot of things and we are very careful on every bit of our action this time because they said experience is the best teacher i want to tell fellow subscribers that nigeria grant is very deep nigeria grant 
is not where you see it. A lot of people are coming to tell you one thing and the other, telling you all sorts of lies that they are this, they are that, they know everything about the grant. I want to tell you that, be very careful. A lot that claim to know, know nothing about the process of grant in Nigeria. A lot that claim to know, know nothing on the reality going on. I want to tell Nigeria that the position of all grand pressure group is that the money which we are expecting is uh, in the position of the government and the government has constituted committee to work this money out in the um, guidelines of the constitution to see that at the end of the day all of us have this money and we have something to take home and nigerians should be very much aware that the malicious and unguided statement of chief akogu and his team cannot fetch us any good rather a destructive and distortive one chief akogu has been in this very position and his team and some other believers that all grand pressure group are the reason why this busment has not taken place. Chief Akogo, the last meeting I had with him, organized by the Elder Forum in Grand Community, he made this malicious and unguided statement that the all grand pressure group brought some people to change the name of Apostle Ken from the document which is causing delay. And I put it to him that very day that has he ever seen any document? And has he, did he have fact of this such of this claim? Chief Akogu was very proud to say that he has the number of the people causing delays and he's going to and he's going to summon everybody that are working in the process of this grant to answer questions. And I told him to be very careful. Whoever he is working for, and whoever is pushing him to do this, that he will not have anybody to back him if anything goes wrong. He will not have anybody to support him if he uh, erroneously land himself in trouble. And I advised him that day that our first enemy are the people that deceptively extorted money from us in the name of this grant. And I want to still put it to Chief Akogo and his team that as he has been claiming that he has paid millions of naira of this in the process of this grant, that he, Chief Akogo, and other people agitating we should have our first enemy to be those people that have extorted, those coordinators that have extorted money from us. I want to also put it to him and other Nigerians who are severely agitated that as much we have been sympathetic, it's neither our fault nor the people working to see that the grant come out. But the major fault should be given to those people that have used this grant as a business, as a merchant to collect money and enrich themselves. I'm putting it to everybody that has lost their money in this very process or promise of grant that we still have our right to refund, to ask for refund, or wherever we have submitted our money. I am putting it to Chief Akogo. Whatever or wherever you have channeled your money, please, that place or that person should be your first contact. You can ask for a refund. You have the right and you get your grant. And other Nigerians, whoever you have given your money to, which is on the process or on the course of this grant, you have your right to ask for a refund. Nobody ask anybody to collect. To, nobody ask anybody to collect money before you can collect this grant. If on your own will you assist or support anybody, it is left for you. But if anyone has deceptively collected money from you, you have the right to ask for that person to return your money so that you can have your peace and patient with the process going on. And I want to tell Nigerians that, please, we have to be careful at this point in time. 
And indeed, every journey that has a start has an end. We have gone a long way in the process and the pursuit of this grant. And why we are very much advising Nigerians now is that we are almost getting to the end of it. Let us not use our hand to destroy what we have labored for. God bless Nigerians. God bless the grand community. As we patient and pray that God to finish what he has started for us. Thank you all and good night. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share to your family and loved ones. God bless you.